welcome to another episode of American Dream TV. We are here in Etowah River Park, located in Canton, Georgia, about 40 miles north of Atlanta. I'm your host, Elizabeth Martin, and for two days, the city of Canton is hosting their annual River Rock Music Festival. And this year, it is back bigger and better than ever. Why don't you follow me and let's go check it out. We are going to meet two hometown music artists who are performing tonight, the first of whom is inside this tour bus. And she is making waves with her distinctive country sound and her powerful lyrics. Let's go meet Ashley Brooks. Well, Ashley, it is a pleasure to finally meet you. I just love your voice and I'm just so excited. I'm, I hear that you have been named as a 2023 Georgia Female Country Artist of the Year. How does yes. that feel? It's surreal when you're working towards a dream with a bunch of people that you love and then just having that payoff. It makes it worth it. And you're like, hey, this thing's actually rolling and moving, so we're gonna keep at it. Uh, and it's just incredible. I'm very, very proud of you. And when did you know that you wanted to have a career in music? So as weird as this sounds, I was about five years old and I was watching The Little Mermaid with my mom and I was in the mirror trying to sing some Little Mermaid and hey, that's pretty good. And from that moment on, I've sang on and off in my whole life, but professionally, probably about two and a half years. Wow. So now you are are born and raised in our hometown of Hickory right. Flat, Canton. I, I mean, right next door to me. And We're neighbors. so, I mean, so you are also known as the Georgia Gypsy. Yes, so we got that nickname. So when I play shows, the shoes come off. We're barefoot, so we're looking like some hippie gypsy style. We travel in U-Hauls and buses all over the state of Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Chicago, all over. So that is it kind of awesome. just happened. <laughs> that is so great. So do you write your own songs? Yes, everything that I have out on all platforms I've written and I take a lot of pride in that. Um, it's an art, so, and we're it, with my band too and my dad and they've helped me a lot. That's right, because your dad is in the band. Yes, that's my bestie, that's my rock. He plays the guitar for me. He's been in bands my whole life. We, we can't wait to see you perform and I want an autograph from you. I got you, girl. Okay, awesome. <laughs> The next country artist we're gonna meet has been named the artist to watch in 2024. Not only was he born and raised in Woodstock, Georgia, he was also the winner of The Voice season 22. Let's go meet the one and only Bryce Leatherwood. Well, Bryce, it is a pleasure to finally meet you in person because we have, in our hometown, been following your musical journey since you competed and won The Voice season 2022. Yes, ma'am. I'm and very excited to be back home. I mean, very how incredible to work with Blake Shelton and just have this amazing opportunity. And then you've had a lot of, you know, going on since then. Oh yeah, we've had a lot going on. You know, the whole thing with The Voice was the biggest uh, joy in my life so far, was being able to put on from my hometown, put, put, put on from my state of Georgia. And uh, after that, it's been nothing but a whirlwind for me. It's been me writing songs every day for my new publishing team at Sony and uh, recording my first debut album. So we're very excited. That is excited. incredible. So how did your music journey begin? Well, it, it really started in middle school. I did a talent show and uh, and it started from there and then it moved on to, you know, me doing it at college bars, making money and getting free drinks. So it worked right, out pretty well. Because you went to Georgia Southern. Yes, and I heard you created a band, you yes, formed a band and and then it just, so then was it after you graduated that you just said, I want to audition for The Voice? Well, it was kind of a last ditch effort to do, kind of, you know, do what I wanted to do in life, which was music. And, you know, I think I, I try to reach for the stars and uh, took a chance on a, on a little TV show called The Voice. And, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, just a little TV show. And look at him now. Now you're living in Nashville. You're, you signed with a big record label. Yes, ma'am. And so, so what is next for you? So right now we're, we're still in the process of building my first album. It's been a long process, but we're still picking the best of the best of songs and uh, writing them as well and uh, getting to go and tour around the country and uh, 
make some new fans. It's been great. Well, it's been a fantastic night here at the River Rock Festival in Canton. I'm your host, Elizabeth Martin. And I'm Bryce Leatherwood, and I'll see y'all next time right here on American Dream. Woo!